Welcome to the third episode of the series, Sham Story. After we learned about the history of Palestine proving that it is an Arab country. Now it's time to talk about Al-Aqsa Mosque. What is its story and who built it? What is its importance for Muslims? This is what we will learn about in this episode. سبحان الذي أسرى بعبده ليلا من المسجد الحرام إلى المسجد الأقصى الذي باركنا حوله الذي باركنا حوله لنريه من آياتنا إنه هو السميع البصير. First, you must know that what is meant by Al-Aqsa Mosque is not this building that has the dome of the rock. No, but it means the entire area inside the wall in the old city of Jerusalem, which is estimated at 144,000 square meters. Al-Aqsa Mosque is the second mosque built on earth after Al-Haram Mosque in Mecca. The period between them was 40 years, and historians disagreed about whether it was built by the Prophet Adam or the Prophet Abraham. But it is more correct that it was built by the Prophet Adam and then rebuilt by the Prophet Abraham. Well, what are the landmarks that make up Al-Aqsa Mosque? Al-Aqsa Mosque consists of more than 200 landmarks, including mosques, gardens, terraces, waterways, and many others. But the most important of these landmarks are the ancient Al-Aqsa Mosque, Al-Qibli Mosque, Dome of the Rock Mosque, Al-Marwani Mosque, and Al-Al-Burak Mosque. The first mosque built among them was the ancient Al-Aqsa Mosque, and it is said that it was built by the Prophet Adam and rebuilt by the Prophet Abraham. After that, Al-Qibli Mosque was built above the old Al-Aqsa Mosque, and this was during the era of Caliph Omar the son of Al-Khattab. The third landmark is the Marwani Mosque, which was built during the reign of Marwan the son of Al-Hakam in the Umayyad dynasty. After that, his son Abdul Malik came and built the famous mosque, which is the Dome of the Rock Mosque. It was built on the rock from which the Prophet Muhammad, may God bless him and grant him peace, ascended to heaven on the night of the night journey in Miraj. The fifth landmark is Al-Al-Burak Muzalla, which was built on the Al-Al-Burak wall, to which the Prophet Muhammad tied his animal Al-Al-Burak on the night of the night journey and Miraj. The last thing to be built was Al-Magariba Mosque, which was built by Sulla al-Din al-Ayyubi after the liberation of Jerusalem from the Crusaders. This is the entire Al-Aqsa Mosque, and what is published in the media is not that Al-Aqsa Mosque is only this building. Well, now that we know that, what is the importance of Al-Aqsa Mosque to Muslims? First, Al-Aqsa Mosque is the second mosque built in the world and it is the first Qibla for Muslims before the Qibla was for the Al-Haram Mosque in Mecca. Second, the Prophet Muhammad ascended from it to heaven on the night of the night journey and Miraj, and God blessed this place and its surroundings. Third, the Prophet Muhammad, may God bless him and grant him peace said that there are three mosques in the world to which one can travel, that is, a Muslim travels specifically to them to pray there, because praying in them is better than in others. These mosques are Al-Haram Mosque in Mecca The Prophet's Mosque in Medina Al-Aqsa Mosque in Jerusalem, Palestine This is the story of Al-Aqsa Mosque for us to learn and know how important this place is and why Muslims care about it. See you in the next episode.